let's move on to the video. Hello, I'm Anio Visser, Manager Energy Transition of the Municipality of Utrecht. And I'm really pleased that you invite Utrecht for this conference to speak. I especially like to thank the organization and the Major of Taipei for having us here today. My speech is about how can cities contribute to zero emission. First about Utrecht. Utrecht is famous for the Dom Tower, we have a historical center, but I think it's more famous for Miffy, the rabbit. And she was created by Dick Bruna, one of our local citizens. But I hope we also will be very famous for our strategy. And our strategy is to become healthy urban living for everyone. We have 10 subjects on which we focus and we connect them with the sustainable development goals. You can see it over here. We work on the climate change and we work from the global targets to the local action. So we all signed the climate agreement in Paris. In 2050, our energy supply must be carbon neutral. And we have interventions on the city level from Utrecht, but also on the level of the neighborhoods, the housing and buildings. And this is our strategy of Utrecht. We focus on three things because we want to be climate neutral as soon as possible and front runner in the renewable energy. First of all, we focus on renewable energy. 20% of our roofs must be covered with solar panels in 2025. And our district heating must be in 2030, 100% renewable. Our second approach is on the neighborhoods. We now have 120 connections of dwellings on the natural gas grid. And in 2030, we want to take out 40,000 of those homes from the natural gas grid to a sustainable solution like district heating or an electric solution or maybe renewable gas. And the last thing is we want to give a good example. So our municipality has also own real estates and those real estates must be 100% renewable in 2040, not only the organization, but also the buildings. And we use a lot of energy for the lightings in the street, but also for the buildings, for the offices. And nowadays our energy is already 100% sustainable. Especially we have a transition vision for heat. And this is our approach. We have three parts. The first is that all the sources from the energy must be renewable. The second path is that we focus on the infrastructure. Nowadays we have three infrastructures. We have the natural gas, the district heating and electricity. And in the common future, in the nearby future, we only have renewable heat infrastructure, electricity with heat pumps in buildings and maybe um, renewable gas. And the last thing we need to do is to save energy and to isolate all the buildings. That is the third part. Utrecht is the fourth biggest city in the country of the Netherlands. And we are the fastest growing city of the Netherlands. So we build a lot of houses. All those new districts must be energy neutral. And here you see some examples of it. In the already existing neighborhoods, we are going to disconnect the buildings from the natural gas grid. Here you see two examples of electric versions with heat pumps, but it also can be on the district heating. And at the left you can see that all the Netherlands in the futures will cook electric. We focus on sustainable energy, but also on sustainable mobility. So we improve air quality by a lot of uh, public transport and a lot of bicycle lanes, but also we promote electric driving in our canals in the historical center. And of course, that a lot of people take solar panels on their roofs. We also focus on innovation and infrastructure. And here in the middle, you can see the King of the Netherlands. This is the official opening of the bidirectional charging station in which power was generated by solar pellets. 
it is stored in car batteries. During the day, the car drives around with the power, and in the evening, the same battery supplies energy for the homes. We also give energy advice to tenants and to homeowners. Uh, a com the company we're working with have people who formerly get welfare, but now they have a job and they give advice to tenants, to homeowners with all kinds of products to reduce their energy. And we work together with a lot of local entrepreneurs with it. We can't do it alone, so we talk with the citizens. We organize a lot of city talks about sustainable energy. Here you can see some examples. And not only we are the, per, uh, the government who organize anything, there are also a lot of grassroots initiatives from a lot of neighborhoods. Those citizens want to participate, but sometimes also co-decide. And as Utrecht city, we have to learn and find an effective way of cooperation with those neighborhoods. We not only work with the inhabitants, but also we have a professional collaboration. We work together with the social housing companies, Portal, Bobex and Nitos, with the natural gas and electric company, Stadin, with the district heating company, Enego, and with the energy corporation, Energy U. And together, we work in the approach of those neighborhoods. Here you can see our city, Utrecht. At the right is the natural gas infrastructure. And on the left, we look for opportunities. I already told you that we're going to build a lot of new dwellings in Utrecht. So we make the map with all the newly built and renovations of the building, but also public works. And when we want to go to the renewable way of energy uh, supply, we look also at the opportunities and investments in the city. And we try to combine that. What we need is to create scale in renovation of sustainable houses and buildings. And why is it necessary? Because it's now quite expensive. And we need to getting down those costs through scale and through innovation. So what we need is standardization and industrialization. This is complex and a crucial organization issue. And I think we can't do that alone. We must learn from cities from each other. So this is my last slide. I think cities can contribute to the global, global goals. Not only on the big scale, as I told you, that we need to change our real energy supply system and to work on our dwellings, but also with small initiatives. At the right, at the bottom, you can see our bus stops and they have green roofs because that bees can attract them. So we also have small initiatives and they get international uh, attention. I think we have to do three things as cities. We have to work together in innovation and learn from each other. But we should also ask investment from our government, the citizens and the entrepreneurs. Not only in money, but also in time and in collaboration. And I think it's attractive. It's only attractive if you work together on a future prospect for everyone. In Utrecht, it is healthy urban living for everyone. And I hope you stay healthy. I want to thank you for your attention.